So, <clears throat> so today we are reading Shishi Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 25. <clears throat> o Goddess, when will I make a stripe of Sindur vermilion? on your part with the jeweled pencil that will make your hair looks so beautiful. O oh, Goddess, when will I make a stripe of Sindur vermilion on your part with a jeweled pencil that will make your hair looks so beautiful. After he painted wonderful, playful Makari fishes on Shiradika's breast, Shirabunata experiences the pain of separation when this vision vanishes from him. Then, when he experiences the flavors of devotional service again, the ocean of his bliss wells up again. In this way, it goes on continuously. Nothing in this world can compare to that succession of bliss and agony, which is always present in a lively way in the hearts of the Rasika devotees. It is as if the ocean of joy and sorrow is being churned, producing the reviving nectar of union and the concomitant poison of separation. The hearts of the loving devotees are constantly immersed in the ocean of prema, and the clashing waves in that ocean sometimes produce the transcendental agony of separation and sometimes the transcendental bliss of meeting. The devotees are permanently inundated by these waves as they advance towards their Ishtade. We can stop here a little bit because Raghunath and Anatta Das Babaji were pulling us through their emotional words, they're pulling us deep in this ocean of emotions. So there's different oceans. Krishna is the ocean of Rasa. Radhika is the ocean of Mahabhava, most exalted emotions. But also her devotees, her maidservants, are also oceans 
of all these emotions. And they're very merciful that they put their emotions in the words so that we sadakas, simple devotees, can enter in the drops of their all these oceans. So each word is one ocean, each sentence is one ocean, in the ocean, each word and syllable is also one unlimitless, boundless ocean, in the ocean of the ocean of the ocean. So this, how this ocean is functioning, this is the ocean of love with different waves. Some waves are bringing happiness and some waves are bringing the sorrow. And the prema, pure love, Transcendental love has these two main characteristics that brings nectar and a little bit poison. And this poison is not like a poison in material world, it's also nectar. And Raguna Das Goswami is showing and opening his heart to us that we can relish at least a little bit of his relishment, of his visions. He doesn't have to write these verses for himself because he is already is completely drowned in these lilas, in these visions, but he also wants to do it for us because he knows that by listening his words, talking about his words, meditating about his words, the sadakas will receive great benefit. And through this benefit, they will feel his sorrow and joy. Joy when he is with Radhika and sorrow when he is separate from Shimataratara. And these two feelings of joy and sorrow has to be infused in the hearts of Sadaka. And the process of listening in something which helps Sadaka to taste the sorrow and the joy of great Rasika devotees. And this is the only hope for the neophytes, for the beginners, for the sadakas. Um, sorry for interruption. Could you please again put me the German translation on the, it didn't work? Okay. We will wait. Such a nectar you are sharing, Goranga. Thank you so much. <laughs> no. <laughs> Interruptions are very good. This is the nice breaks. Yes. Harvesting a pause. And. <laughs> mm.
<laughs> tasting the nectar. No problem, we will wait. It's okay now? Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay. Thank okay. You. So we can see here the position of Ragunath. Like a Rasika devotee. He is deeply merged in his Raga. And then, by the Radhika's mercy, he is entering on another stage of Anurag. In the position of Raga, strong attachment, strong feelings for Ishtadev, for Shri in this case. Devotee feels pain, and great agony and great eagerness to attain Shimatera Dharani. This is Raga. And this kind of Raga is helping devotee to attract Ishtadev. And then Ishtadev is answering on his agony. And this is what we call Anurag. And we can see here that Radha and Krishna are also merging in these different levels of Prema. Prema, Sneha, Mana, Pranaya, Raga, Anuraga, Bhava, Mahabhava, so. But it's not only reserved for Radha and Krishna. Are we Devotees are also swimming and diving in these different stages of prema. And because they are diving in these different stages of prema, they can, in their spiritual identities, they can serve Yuga Lakishore or Shimatera Dharani. No one who is doesn't diving in this raga, pranaya, anuraga cannot serve. And it cannot be done in this physical mater material body. For that kind of service, we need swarup of swarup of spiritual identity. And from that kind of position, Raghunatha is praying with full eagerness and pain in the heart because he passionately wants to attain Radhika. This is the passion of his heart, not of his body, mind, ego or senses. This is the passion of his heart and Bhava Deha, Swarup. And all of us, so many times we heard and read and were talking about these kind of separations, which brings to meeting, Viraha, brings to Milana. And we can notice after some times that there is a two kinds of separations. There is one kind of separation is devotee who never had a darshan, direct darshan of Shimatera Dharani. But still, because of mercy of Radhika's maidservants, he feels separation from Shimatera Dharani because he is deeply connected with her maidservants. And some reflection 
of separation from their hearts are penetrating in the heart of sadaka. So this is the case of the most of us, maybe not for everyone, but for the most of us. We also can feel separation. And through this feeling and relishing separation, we are showing and expressing our desire to attain Shimateradara. It is shortly to say. Many things can be said about this. And there is another separation from someone who already had a vision, clear, lively, direct vision of Shimateradara. And suddenly, when that vision vanishes, disappears, devotee manifests spontaneously in the heart his sorrow and separation to again have this kind of direct vision. So we can see here from these two examples that intensity of separation is different. Devotee who, who is on the perfect stage, who attain perfection, his separation is so strong it's be completely beyond all his bodily conception of life. Because he has experience. And so it's quite logical that someone who has experience, when this object of his experience disappears, his crying, his separation feelings, are so strong. And it's said that this crying is actually passionate desire of devotee who wants to again attain Shimati Radhika. And Sadaka on another side, Sadaka who, who never had, never, never had direct vision by connecting his heart, his mind, his, through his Swarup, by connecting himself with such a person who already had such kind of desires in his heart can appear this reflection of perfect Rasika devotee, and he will also feel some pain, agony, sorrow, and this kind of feelings will purify the mind, the heart of Sadaka. The more his mind and heart are purified, he is able to enter more and more and more in bhajan, in smaran, in dhyana, in deep meditation. So I just wanted to explain here, uh, according to my understandings and perception, and feelings, what I'm thinking, when I'm reading this, when I'm listening and meditating, that this kind of separation is very important for the sadaka and also the separation for perfect devotee, siddha. 
And ultimately, both of these separations, soon or later, according to Radhika's desire, will please Radhika and bring the both persons in the position of direct service. Because we can see from the first sentence of Baba, Rasamai, would you be so kind to read us? Ragutnat has direct experience and he wrote it in previous words. And which kind of experience? Please, Rasamai, if you want first sentence. First sentence. Yes. yes, please. <clears throat> After he painted wonderful, playful Makari fishes on Shiradika's breasts, Shiragunata experiences the pain of separation when the vision vanishes from him. Who will not feel separation, painful separation? If the second before he made a ser ser seva of painting makari fishes, very special fishes, on the breast of Shimati Radharani. And when that vision disappears, Agony, pain of love, hankering, thirst will become more and more and more intense. Ragunath, in, like a Tulsi, with perfume oil, he made the paintings of Makari fishes on the Radhika's breast. He is completely focused on his seva. And he exactly knows why he is drawing the makara fishes, not sometimes he is drawing the leaves. But he has some purpose why he is drawing the makara fishes and not with the color, but with oil perfume. But I will not speak about that. I just want to put very clearly example of someone who already had the vision meeting with Radharani and after that the vision disappears. So we need association of those persons who already have such kind of experiences because their experiences, their strong feelings, anguish, pain, sorrow, will slowly enter in our hearts, purify the chitta, mind and heart, and bring us to the level of more attachment, more taste, and more deeper bhajan. So this kind of association is essential, close association for us. And Raghunath is giving us opportunity for that. And Ananta Das Babaji is giving us opportunity for that. And our beloved Gurudev, by explaining these different, different meanings, are giving us opportunity to enter 
in this ocean of Yugalaki shore pastimes and the and to feel that we are missing them if we feel that we are missing them i'm pretty sure that we are on the proper path and in the beginning before he he is starting to explain lila ananta das babaji is speaking about this law we can say law of prema and the main law of prema is intense love to give the pleasure to the lover beloved and automatically the symptom is that i always miss you i am never satisfied and even when i attain you i after that i will miss you more and more and more and this is the waves which are clashing and splashing the heart of devotee please if someone wants to add gurudev i finally i see you radhe radhe is it on radhe radhe okay. uh, yes like this may i yeah. may i <coughs> yeah it's fine like this you can hear me yes thank you so nicely you explain goranga sunna i would like to share from my sadaka level that mostly at the moment i feel the separation of the vaishnavas when i am not i cannot serve with them i feel very empty now we have such a nice also opportunity we do service here together in front of radha mohan i want to say it is also this one simple level maybe not such a high level but i see also in life of raghunath goswami and rupa goswami that they were living with this agony in the separation of nitai or goranga or their beloved you know brothers sanatanga swami and also out of this separation they had high waves of prema so i just wanted to i don't know if you maybe already mentioned it i'm sorry i came a little bit late no you didn't okay so i just want to add that or just like for me like i read about this high level of direct darshan but i am just praying for this level but what i can experience now is that to do service with the brothers and sisters and to be here in you know mongaraj mandir and this association and also when i go back to wild west then i i miss all of your association or if i remember how we were together goranga and ramani in the prey mela so these feelings are also like beautiful separation feelings that make the heart uh, fond or when we think about any kind of service how we were learning this leela you remember as a moi we did this nityananda leela and we were in ecstasy some years ago and then this we always keep in the heart also we always relish these moments when we can do service together and even if i have no these big feelings for direct service of shrimati radhika i feel that the service together and of the vaishnavas is also you know nourishing my heart very much because if we have the intimate relationships i'm missing mohini and chakshu i haven't seen them for a long time we did not do kirtan for a long time then also some feelings come in my heart that oh 
And then we know also that Shimati Radhika and her dasis are not different from each other. So she also will, I feel she will always give some mercy, even if I, if I feel separation from the Vaishnavas, from Gurudev, from serving together. This is at the moment my, my uh, desire to have these feelings also increase the feelings and to focus on this, what is, um, how do you say, possible for me at the moment. I just uh, wanted to add this. Very much, Sunitiji. This is the one kind of separation, <clears throat> and separation from Vaishnavas. Even if we didn't have direct oh, service of Srimati Radharani. And this is the uh, beginning stage, and also not beginning stage only, but this is the normal stage which is giving so much inspiration to continue. Yeah. So that's the reason we were talking about these two kinds of separation. Before meeting <laughs> direct darshan, and separation from someone who already had a darshan. Yeah, that's a separation. So this is different. Intensity of separation is not the same, and the result of that separation is not the same. So we desperately need devotees who feel separation. <coughs> because this kind... All these kinds of separations will help us in our advancement. Yes. Yeah, I did. Uh, Jananda, you, I interrupted you or what? No, 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 no. So, both of you, especially you, explain so nicely. I, I may not to say nothing, but uh, so Suniti Didi, I just remembering one bus from, I think, uh, Ramananda and Mahaprabhu conversation. Mm. So they're asking, I think Mahaprabhu, maybe Mahaprabhu asking, what is most sad, sad thing in this life? Or something like that. And then Ramananda say, separation of the Vaishnava. You know, separation of like a Rashika Vaishnava, separation of the great devotee or Vaishnava, that is the most sad thing. So, Goranga, Goranga Babu explained, love is two component. It's Samboga and Biraha. Samboga is meeting and Biraha is separation. And some may ask, so I want only meeting. I don't need separation. Many devotees say, I heard, you know, some devotees say, you know, I like Radha Krishna meeting to together. I don't like Radha Krishna and separation, in separation. Yeah, that's true. Very true. So Suniti did say, we don't want to separate from other devotees, especially dear devotees or dear Gurudev. But like a separation is like kind of a spice to increase more greed or hankering or to, to increase loving sentiment, like a go bardam. So, and sometimes we understand, we together, at that time we don't understand so much, but if we separate, then we understand what, what is that devotee's Qualification, what Radha Mohan's quality, you know, quality, 
and rasa. Or what Guru Dev is merciful, ma, you know, what is good quality on that devotee or Guru Dev or Radha Mohan? Even Radha Rani, sometimes Radha Rani is separate Krishna a short time, especially in Brajarira, especially in Nittarira, their separation is very short, short time. But still, if Radharani is waiting, Nikunja, Mohan does not come. She's so upset. And slowly, slowly, distress and uh, anger also sometimes coming. No, actually, anger is later on. And then when later on, Mohan come with the uh, Loving symptom with other, other, other ladies. She came a little late in the, in the early morning or, you know, and then Radharani start, that man is so increasing. Get out. I don't see your face. I don't want to see anything black. So Radharani become angry. And then Krishna was shocked. Why she's so angry? Yeah, I want to, I want to do whatever I could, but all failed. So that, uh, then Mohan is like a completely, you know, face become pale. La, you know, Mohan's face is already like kind of blackish, but more pale. And then like uh, head is like, uh, you know, down. And uh, so sad and what I say, walking very interest, distressed. Mohan live in the Kunja. But after some time, Mohan live in Kunja. Then Swamini could understand, oh my God, Mohan came, but I, what? I'm so crazy. I said to him so harsh word. I hurt him. So what to do? And then Radhanan's feelings more intense. Hey, Kinkari. Hey, Manjari. What to do? Please go to Mohan. Please find out. Please make some some, something to, to, to bring him. So this, this, a feeling separation and meeting separation. And they separate. Therefore, our manjari seba will start. Different seba is there. Meet, when they are meeting, Sambhoga, at that time also we have seba. Also, their separation also another different kind of seva. More, one sense, intense seva. Because Swami is like crying. Or so distressed. This only Manjari could console in that situation. So, in, in, in a material body, in Sadaka Deha, we also feel it. And slowly, slowly, we understand in spiritual body. And then in this spiritual body, body, also we, we are slowly, slowly could understand this feeling. So this is, uh, love is not straight. Love is very crooked, crooked. Because separation is there. Also many different feelings there. Radhane has many feeling, kira kinchit, or a different kind of, uh, baba, you know, sat, you know, sati, I don't know, sati, three kind of, san, uh, sanchari baba. All this feeling, different feeling, because of sometimes a separation, sometimes meeting, even, even meeting, Feeling separation. This is kind of Mahababa, like a 
se madanake mahababa. So slowly, slowly, we, we will understand this kind of feeling through this meeting and separation and also our sadaka deha. Slowly, slowly, we are advancing. We, we could taste in the siddha deha. We are, we are practicing. We are really following、uh, Guru Dev's footstep and Guru Dev's instruction. And this Sangha also, we feel this kind of, you know, Samboga and Vipralamba. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I want to say something, but I forgot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, this separation in the Sajatya Sangha is natural. It naturally appears when devotee cannot have a Sangha with those like minded persons. And we can see in the examples of our Acharyas how they, like Sunitiji said, they suffered because. Of absence of each other. And not even that, I just now remember one thing. They are so strongly attached to the words of each other. Because they know that these words are not are the same like those persons who already spoke these words or wrote these words. They are attached to their words. And we have a beautiful example of Krishna Das Kaviraj, who left the body because the books of Goswami w a s stolen. My God. Is that really? Can you imagine? This kind of separation from the books of Goswami is because for Krishna Das Kaviraj, Kaviraj, these books were not only books, only letters, black and white letters. This is the Premika Mahabhava feelings in these books. And it means that presence of Goswamis, especially Rupa Goswami, was so much established in his books. And if this Lila we know, when those books were stolen, Krishna Das Kaviraj couldn't tolerate the pain of separation from these books. And he left this material platform. So it's not only physical association and it's not only physical separation. When we are coming in the contact with the Vaishnavas, We are first of all, we are coming into contact with their feelings, with their hearts. And if we make a contact with their hearts and feelings, then we will always feel separation from them, even when we are together.、Yeah. And we will always feel that we are together, even if we are separate. This is the law of transcendental exchange of emotions, exchange of the love. It's not a physical platform. And we have to tune our senses, tune our intelligence, tune our mind and heart to receive this kind of consciousness. And it will help us. So much to overcome our conditioned state of life. And only they can help us. And they are manifestations of causeless kripa, separation from. Acharyas, it means separations from everything what they did. Can you imagine that we don't have these books? 
Can you imagine that someone, I don't know, burned these books? I cannot imagine. There is no love without separation. Separation is the sign of intense, true, true love. Not empty words. And from these separations, Seva is coming. Without feeling at least little of separation, pure seva, at least little of pure seva cannot appear. This is my understanding and feeling. So I like this so much because Anatta Das Babaji is speaking so much about that, that main sadhana for sadaka is to meditate on separation of pure Rasik devotees. Yes. And from that sadhana, all sadhana, other sadhanas will be fulfilled. Meditate on their say, I don't have this kind of separation because I don't have such kind of love. I don't have at all any realizations, but I want to meditate. And when I say meditate, I say I want to feel, merge in their feelings. And this is my sadhana. Ananta Das Babaji is saying, sadhaka has to meditate on the Raghunath's pain, he, because he already had realization. <coughs> Then love, ruchi, rati, ashakti, rati, will start to appear and appear and appear. Daddy, please, if, uh, before we continue on the another part, because this is some kind of this separation is preparation. <laughs> We can see it's preparation mm. for meeting. It's tuning the heart for the meeting. Yes, Gorachanda, now I see you. So beautiful, everyone speaking. This with the books is so special because that time there was not many copies. <laughs> There were no recordings. Now we have everything in our mobile phones and in the cloud. <laughs> so if we have so many copies nowadays, we cannot appreciate that. But that time, it was handwritten by Rupa Goswami. <clears throat> and it has to be renewed because of the climate. Some devotees, again, they scratched it in the palm leaves and they keep it like gold, no? the words. So when this got stolen, the original <laughs> books, it's the same feeling like when Raghunath is coming out from the Leela, like becoming blind. No? I could see and now I'm blind. Everything is darkness. The connection that Kaviraj had is through the words of Rupa Goswami when he reading that, the association. And Jayananda, he mentioned that in the conversation of Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai, Mahaprabhu asking what is most distressful thing in this material world. <laughs> and Ramananda say, other than separation from Vaishnava, there is no distress at all. Joyful. Meaning is I can tolerate everything. You can cut my arms 
everybody die, no problem. But separation. But why he not saying separation from Radha Mohan? Is the most distressful thing. Because I have no direct connection. I need someone who connect me. The mercy of Radharani coming through her dasis to me. That is the Sampradaya. That is the way the mercy comes. So maybe in the future I want to get feelings of separation from Radharani. But I only get that when I absorb the mood of someone who has it. So therefore the separation from the Vaishnava is the most distressful thing. And we are talking, we respect everyone, we think we are all Vaishnavas, and that is also true. But they're talking really about self-realized souls who are not part of this material world. Like samsara davanala, like a rain cloud. The rain cloud is not part of this forest of material world. Only the rain can stop the forest fire. So, And the song of Narottam Das Jaya Nilo Premadana. Where is everyone? Advaita. Where is my Kaviraj? Where is Swarup Damoda? Where is Rupa? Where are the associates of Goranga? I am Narottam Das I never met Goranga. <coughs> I need mercy of those who had this association. <laughs> Narottam saying, I will smash my head against the wall. So much pain, I feel. So it's so, so precious. And it's very rustic. Separation <coughs> is, is the beautiful feeling. I feel like that. Separation is sweet. Uh, thank you, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Kurachan. So beautiful. I think that everyone received the clear picture <coughs> about process of bhakti about proper mood so thank you very much if someone wants to say more otherwise we can continue please resume In this verse, Tulasi applies a line of Sindur, reddish powder that married girls wear on Srimati's part. It is the service of the embodiment of ecstatic love. Tulasi sits in front of Srimati and puts the stripe of Sindur on her part with deep concentration. Using a jeweled pencil with a steady hand. That cinder shines like the morning red in the deep dark night 
of Sri Radhika's hair. Tulasi is amazed to see that beauty and says, Devi, when will that sindur that I apply now with a jeweled pencil beautify Krishna's curly locks also? It may stick on his hair during some special love pastime you play. At that time, it may seem that the work I'm doing now will be ruined. But if this happens during your love pastimes, it is actually making my endeavors of making Krishna attracted to you, a complete success. This decoration is not made for you, nor for me. Only Mohana is qualified to enjoy it. Blessed is that maidservant who can make Mohana mad after Swami. Swamini independently experiences how Mohana alone is qualified to see her clothing and no one else. That's why one day she told her girlfriends in Rasodgara. He told me what's on his heart and he touched me again. He was trapped in the news of love. Night and day, he was thinking of me and crying his life airs out. Although he keeps his chest on my breast and his face on my face, and he constantly looks at me, he still feels as if he lost me. Tearing open his chest, he wants to keep me in his heart. <laughs> he does not wear his favorite necklace around his neck nor does he anoint his body with sandal paste anymore. With great effort, he attained a jewel, but he does not know where to keep it. He single-handedly makes beta leaves with camphor, and fills my mouth with them. He laughs and smiles and holds my chin as he takes the pan out of my mouth with his mouth. He dresses me, bathes me, and ornaments me and ecstatically takes me on his lap. He takes a lamp in his hand to look at my face as tears trickle 
from his eyes. Holding my feet, he anoints them with foot lap. And he binds my disheveled hair into a brain, braid. A Balaramadas meditates on this pasta. The song ends. I just want to say very shortly, these words, these paragraphs, and this part of the song is for meditation. And this is an example which the poet who wrote this, this is an example of his own meditation. So it means that we have to apply this in our sadhaka lives. Not to read, to listen and forget, but to apply to put these words to penetrate in all our existence and to see what will happen, which kind of surprise, sweet, beautiful surprise will come. This is not the words just for the paper, for the book. These, are, these words are instructions for bhajan. Tulasi awakens all these sweet memories <clears throat> within Swamini's mind while marking her part with a line of Sindur. Now, expert Tulasi holds a big mirror before Bhava Mai, all emotional Radhika, and says, Just see how I've decorated you. I have dressed you, but now I want to see my work spoiled by Mohan. Swamini is startled when she sees her own form in the mirror. Proudly she thinks, if even my undecorated body makes Shyam mad, what then to speak of this fully decorated body? How long before I can make my hero enjoy this sweet form of mine? When can I make him happy with this limitless, youthful beauty that knows no match in all three worlds? Such beautiful thoughts are even desired by the Lord. Sorry. So here is very nicely expressed how intensity of love of Shimati Radharani and her selfless desire to satisfy Mohan in all circumstances and to satisfy him 
in all his desires. And this is the natural constitutional position of Prema. Prema seeks to give the pleasure to beloved. This is the main reason of her existence. And Radhika only wants to satisfy Moha. And Baba is saying in the end of this paragraph, such a beautiful thoughts are even desired by the Lord. Even Krishna wants to have this kind of desires, selfless desires. He wants to be completely merged in this kind of Radhika's desire because he doesn't have it in full capacity, full quantity. Even he wants to feel it. And finally, he is becoming Goranga. At least to feel to some drops of this Mahabal. So when we are talking about Radhika, we are not talking about ordinary girl. We are talking about embodiment of Prema, of Mahabhava, embodiment which wants only to satisfy the object of her love. And Krishna decided to take her role, to see and to feel what the, how it, it is to be like Radharani. So this is the reason which is, many times we were talking about that. Why the... <clears throat> Acharyas of Gaudiya Vaishnavas, especially Rupanuga Vaishnavas, never wants to disturb the mood of Goranga that he is Radharani. And Baba is speaking this small paragraph. I say speaking because for me it's speaking, not writing. This small paragraph that we can just get some glimpse of pure existence and selflessness of Shimate Radharani. During a particular pastime, he sees his own reflection in Srimati Radhika's breasts. And with an enchanted heart, he says, May Sri Radha protect us as she smiles. When she hears Hari, who sees his own reflection 
in her shining golden breasts, telling her, there are two beautiful boys visible on your breasts. Their luster steals the glories of blue lotus flowers. And they completely enchanted me. Make me your sake so that these two boys can tightly embrace us young girls. Swamini reacts by saying, Sham, you are the young transcendental Cupid himself. Is the desire to enjoy your own sweetness so strong? And she thinks to herself, how beautiful I am. It would all be wasted if beautiful Mohana could not relish it. Mohana's happiness is Radharani's happiness. She dresses herself with a strong desire to make Krishna relish it. Radhe, it would be very nice if Gurudev can give his commentary on this particular lila. His voice is very bad, Gurudev. Okay. It would be very nice if Gurudev if it's possible, can give the commentary on this paragraph and small lila, but we are not forcing. forcing. Yes, Gopinath. Yes, Gopinath. You can hear? Yes, I can yes, hear you. Guldev is really struggling with his voice. His okay. Face, so please. Very much listening and relishing. You can feel it here. Thank you so much for us. It's really what you're saying. At least just with the voice, it's very yeah. hard for him to speak. Yes, we understand. Uh, okay. Then I will not speak. No, 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 no. You're you're his voice now. You're his no. voice. No, no, I will not speak about this paragraph. Okay. Sorry, okay. Guru Dev. Radhe, Radhe. The address Devi simply touches the heart. Unfortunately. I am unable to speak with her. Why don't I desire to speak with her to whom I was introduced long ago by my guru? Although I have a desire to speak with people that I am just newly acquainted with, What kind of a devotee am I if I don't get any response from her? Although I am repeating the words of the Goswamis, surely if I would purely repeat and practice the words of the Acharyas, she would respond. Mm 
Rade, okay, sorry. So we have heard here golden formula for attaining desirable goal. And this golden formula is actually speaking, listening, meditating on the pure words of Acharyas. But it's necessary also to purely repeat these words and purely listen these words. then this formula will bring success. And we Sadakas has, we have opportunity to practice our purity, to attain our purity by repeating, and also we can say listening the words of Acharyas. And how we can purely, in a pure way, Repeat these words by speaking always aware about our own spiritual identity. Speaking from Swarup, listening from Swarup, meditating from Swarup, worshipping from Swarup then the heart can be slowly but surely purified. And this is, as I can see, this is the golden formula for sadakas. And Baba is speaking before that, he is saying, Awai, what's going on with me? I'm always interested in about so much other things. And I put all my heart in the conditioned state of life. But just to purely repeat the words of Goswamis, not to imagine our own words, our own feelings. <laughs> Because by repeating their words, their feelings will be infused in our hearts. And we have to have Shraddha in that process. Radha Goranga. Yes, Didi. So beautiful. I just wanted to add a little bit that if I cannot do this, I am always coming to the to the you know lower levels because that's where I am at home. Honestly, <laughs> I just no don't don't mock me. It's serious. <laughs> so if I cannot repeat the uh, you know the words, if I cannot remember the verses or the you know the words how they are speaking. Then Baba is giving example how I can lament and hanger for this. And that is the stage before that. Just wanted to uh, add this because if I really want it, but I can't, at least I can desire it, I can cry for it, and I can beg my Vaishnavas and my Gurudev that they will bless me with this, you know, Coming from Manovritti, the platform of mind and senses, to Chitta Vritti, the platform of the heart and our spiritual being, our constitutional position of my soul or my eternal Swarup. So that I just want to add, because why is Baba giving this example? It's not his level, but he is giving this words I am just not speaking to Swamini. Why am I so impersonal? 
And I remember many classes when Gurudev said this, you have to speak to her. And not only wait that she will speak to me. And I see also now being in Vrindavan with Gurudev again, and many things are developing here from waiting for Swamini's answer. And that is like a process. And I see, I feel Gurudev is doing it. I don't feel how he speaks to Swamini. I don't hear it. I don't. But I feel that whenever there is any, let's say, something to decide, some decision, or what should be the service of who, Gurudev is always giving it to Swamini. And then he says, wait. And then when he gets the answer, when he gets some inner, you know, inspiration, then Gurudev will speak. But before that, you cannot, he will not just like me, you know, I'm always blah, blah, blah. Because I'm so much an ego, I always think I have to give an answer because I, I forget that, you know, that middle part of Swamini, <laughs> just for my purification, I say that. But I can just say this, I feel this so much in Gurudev, waiting for the answer, putting out the question, putting out the prayers, putting out the, you know, the desire that, oh, Swamini, what do you want now to happen with this Darcy, with this situation? And I like it because Baba is giving the same example. He's giving this lamentation. I am still in the external so much. This is my position now, the sadaka. I'm still talking about this and that, but how do I speak to Swamini? How do I put everything in her hands? How do I speak to Gurudev? How do I put my life in his hands? Because he is Swamini's Dasi and my direct, you know, let's say, older authority or not the word is stupid, maybe. But he's my older, you know, Vaishnava, my older guide, my older navigator. So I learn also in this way. I just wanted to shortly add this. Is nice. Thank you, Sunitji. So yes, because <coughs> Baba is saying here, we should purely repeat the words of Acharyas, but also to practice. Mm. He said, surely if I would purely repeat and practice the words of Acharyas, only repeating is not enough. Mm. But if I practice what I speak, then it's a proper following of Acharyas. Yes. This is not learning philosophy by heart, by mind, and speaking. No, practicing from my own Swarup. And when I go, <clears throat> when I go out of that, as quickly as possible, come back. And this is the process which we have to practice. And we need the Shraddha in these words of Goswamis, and we need the Shraddha, faith, sorry, faith in the practice which are, which they are recommending. So, repeating the words and practicing the words has to come together. And observing my own consciousness, and if it's something wrong, then come back on the flow of repeating and practicing the words of Acharyas. There is no other way. Wow. <clears throat> so can I a little bit to talk, Goranga? So Goranga Sundarappa is very nicely talking and very high level also. 
And I want to just, I remember one conversation with Gora Govinda Swami Maharaj. This is not high level, but maybe some devotee may, uh, may, what do you say? Benefit. Benefit. So, everybody stressed, Shastra stressed, Sadhu Sangha is very important. So then one devotee is asking question. Who can, how can I discriminate who is Sadhu? Because sometimes, you know, oh, you are Sadhu, he is Sadhu. Is not as you know, he not sad. Sometimes, you know, of course, everybody sad in one sense, but one devotee asking, so who should associate real sad? Then Gora Gomin Swami Maharaj said, You cannot eye to see sad because you have uh, many covering there, so many ego. And then he said, Listening, hearing from sadhu, then you could understand from your heart. <coughs> because we are thinking, Suniti did say, we are thinking, we are watching this kind of manubriti or material eyes. Or oh, he's not uh, nicely closed. Yet. He is very poor. He is living very dirty place. You know, we, we think like this. Judgment. Judgment. We try to, we have tendency to judge. But uh, if we hearing, then that sadhu's word penetrate our heart. So that's uh, Gora Gomina Swami uh, said to answer the devotee. This is interesting. So if we hear, from real Rashika Vaishnava, from, from Rashika Vaishnava, like Guru Dev, then that word penetrates our heart. Then we beyond manubriti or bodily consciousness. Also, <clears throat> yesterday we experienced, yesterday I mentioned a little bit. And uh, so we did Madhukari. Then Guru Dev saying, We need to bake. We need to bake roti. We need to something to eat. This begging is important. That's Guru Dev's word. Also, we feel we have to bake to sadhu or bake to swamini. Hey, Sadhu, oh, Gurudev, I'm missing this point. I need your mercy. I need, I'm begging. I came here, I'm begging from you. In front of Radharani, we, we have to beg, oh, Swamini, I want to serve you. I want to please you. Please give me your mercy. Please give me your feeling. So, so I learned from Guru Dev, begging is so important. Sometimes we just in front of Diti, Radha Moha, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, today dressing is beautiful. That's also very fine. Oh, today's Radha is so beautiful, nicely dressed. That's also good. But also, begging also. And then, we begging Madhukari, then Radharan Masi come through the Brajavasi as a form of food. And everybody understand this food is not ordinary food. This is spiritual food, especially Radharan give us this food. And Every devotee understands just tasting. Oh my God, we never taste this kind of, ta you know, taste. Because begging means we have to be very humble. 
we, we, we have to give up false ego. I have so much ego, but try to bake, then become I, I, we are in position of very humbleness. So at that time, we can get some mercy. That Guru Dev teaching us how to bake as an act of Madhukari. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. Jayanandaji, Suniti Ji, both of you, thank you very much. This is the practice. Begging is the practice. And when Guru Dev told Suniti, speak with Radharani, tell her something, and wait her answer, this is a practice. Begging is the practice. Praying is the practice. And if we approach with the full faith, then the heart will slowly purify, be, will be purified. But with full faith. And if I don't have a full faith, and certainly I'm not that one, I want to associate with those who had more faith than me, who had more taste with me, And I want to serve them. And this is the practice. This is sadhana, also bhakti. To go around, go around like Jayanandaji so nicely was talking yesterday about their parikram and madhukar. Yeah. Because this madhukar is madhu is real honey, real nectar, which is coming from Vrajavasis by the mercy of Radharani. And if we are not on bodily concept, conception of life, we can understand that. And if we are on the bodily concept, of life, immersed in our bodily consciousness, then we have to be very patient, not arrogant, but very patient, and humbly wait that this kind of consciousness appears in our heart. Begging is a practice but with proper mood. And Jayanandaji so wonderfully yesterday shared, actually he gave prasadam, which he and other devotees collecting in that madhukar, he gave to us, and we have to be aware of this gift. We are here in, in Europe, in Japan, in other parts of world, but we receive through his words, through his sharings, we received little of this Madhukari Prashad. But we have to be aware of that. If we are not aware, then we will not have a benefit. Sorry to say. He gave us his heart, his realizations, and devotees who have been there, I don't know. And this is Vaishnava Prasad. And the words of Goswamis are Prasad. And it's not theory. It's prashat. Thank you, gentlemen. One more time. I cannot speak. I cannot stop. If you want to, 
to share with other devotees because yesterday was some were there just the Japanese and few our Western souls. Maybe you can share shortly. I don't know what's the time that other devotees receive these sharings and your experiences. Maybe time is short, but I briefly explain. Please. By your re request. Mm. So usually now I'm not so strong. And uh, so usually we do Gobardhan Parikirama by auto rickshaw many times. But this time Gurude was thinking my ego is so strong. And then Gurudev was suggesting, hey, this time you go half parikirama from Kusum Sarobara to, you know, the kind of uh, Jatipur, near Jatipur, Gobardhan kind of Makarabinda. And then, yes, Gurudev. And then Gurudev was one condition. Noontime, you have to do Madhukari. As a devotee also should do Madhukari. So, so, and uh, as, because uh, to Govardhan Parikshan also devoted request. So I try to fulfill their desire. So which place do you want to go? Oh, I want to go to Kusum Sarbara, you know, Ma, you know, Manashi Ganga, you know, Haridev. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I can take you. And then we went to Govinda Kunda, but we little slow. Even though we start eight o'clock, but uh, about Govinda Kunda already twelve thirty, then I was worried. Oh my God! Now time to do Madukari, but uh, I don't see any house because you know Govinda Kunda. About Govinda Kunda, after Govinda Kunda is not so house. Oh my God! What to do? A little bit worried, you know, and little meditation. Where to Madukari? And then one small hut there. One Baba is, is, is sitting. And then I don't know, unknowingly I approach Baba. And then like a little, like kind of uh, pay respect to that Baba. I did not say anything. And Baba understand. Oh, you need Madhukari. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Here, you take it. And then five chapati and some sabji. And beto, beto, you sit here. You eat here. Yes. All 11 devotees sit. And, and personally, you know, I divide small chapati and small sabji to distribute everyone. Everyone also shocked. Because Baba is so poor, you know, like kind of a small hut. Maybe I don't remember, but maybe made by, you know, like maybe cow down or maybe something. Looks like very poor, but uh, he, he is so kind hearted. So, and we are almost crying, you know. Then we still walk around to, and then I was thinking, oh, this Nurisinha temple is there. This is a very nice sea. You know, we could see Govardhan here. So let us go, but the Darshan time may be finished because nearly one o'clock. So little hurry. Then we went, but the curtain was closed. Oh my God, this is finished. Then some other Pujari came out. Oh, you late. Now sleeping time. But uh, you can have it. And uh, he gave, you know, he gave us darshan. And a little talking. And then we see Govardhan here. This, uh, this upstairs. Very nice thing. And then I start asking to Pujari, Hey, Baba, actually, my Gurudev's order order me to do Madhukari. So I don't know this place so much. So where should I go? And he's thinking, oh, may, you know, maybe this direction, this is a house there. You may go. 
And then that pujari was thinking, just a minute, you just wait. I have something to give. Usually I don't have it, but today we have some roti and some dal. And then he brought dal and roti. Very small number, maybe, maybe three, three roti. I don't remember. Maybe three, four roti. And then he distributed roti. I distributed kind of dal. And then he's very kindly said, you must be hungry. Could you wait 30 minutes? I can make kichuri if you like it. Then, you know, we are again melting, you know. Oh my God, Brother Jabas is so kind. But I little worry because I did not go to the house because Madukari means usually not to go to temple, go to house to house. I little worry. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. So we have to go to the house to house. Maybe next time, maybe, you know. And then we went to house. And then I went to near the road. Door is closed. But uh, I'm asking, Rade Rade, Baba, Rade Rade. And then I'm coming from Madukari and Roti Koro. And then inside one, one mind is coming. Oh, you are doing Madukari. Okay, five minutes, wait five minutes because I think he has no, no roti at that time. Wait five minutes. How many you need? Because he saw our member, 11, 11 people they made. They saw, uh, he, he saw our people. And they said, yeah, if you could five or six roti, it would be very nice. And he made, he tried to make, actually his wife come and she was doing, you know, and, you know like a doll. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's making, and then I asked some devotee, you know, you may go to this house, you may go to that house, please go try. And then other devotees, two, two, three devotees go, you know, maybe three houses they go. And each house is so kind. Give them roti and sabji, sometimes another thing. And other devotees invited inside. So, to invite inside me, it takes time. So we just collecting, you know, from another devotees. We collect, okay, let us, we eat. We go to little, you know, shadow, peaceful place. Let us eat. So maybe eight devotees together. We sit and whatever we collecting, we offer Radha Mohan. A mentally. Okay, then I distribute it. You know, just to something one chapati and the chapati, you know, broken, this piece and little sabji, little dal, like this. So we are distributing a small amount each person. And then we ate. Then devotees like, you know, just getting this roti and crying and again eating, crying. I, we never, me, devotee say, I never eat this kind of taste. Oh my God. Many devotees eating and crying, eating, crying, eating. Then at that time we understand, wow, what good day with the mercy is there. Guru Dev kind of us, kindly broke, you know, to break our ego. And Guru Dev saying, if you go to Madukari, your ego will be finished. You need Madukari. My grandfather. Yes. Yes. Then even Guru Dev said, my grandfather, he was a king. Still he's doing Madukari. 
this best practice, then finally we realize it doing Madhukari. And then time become a little late, nearly two, more two, you know. And then other devotees as decide, we want to bathe Radha Kunda. Yeah, we have to go, otherwise it become dark and become very cold. Then we went. And everybody bathing Radha Kunda. Then we did a little bit of parikiram. But at that time, taxi driver calling us. Hey, what are they doing? A little late. Come. Yeah, we go. And then we walk around, you know, Radha Kunda Parikiram. Then finally we approach. And then one, one temple distributing Kichuri Prasada. Then one Goswami invites us. Come. This is Nityananda Baitak. You have to, you must come. So we are a little hurry, but yeah, Nityana, but we have to go. Then everybody go. Then he said, everybody obeisance, touch your head in the lotus feet of Nitai. Without Nitai's mercy, you cannot get Mahaprabhu's mercy. Without Mahaprabhu's mercy, you, you cannot Radha Krishna's mercy. Yes, yes, the true. We did, everybody do. Then Pujari said, good, I can pray for you. Your love, your prema, day after day will be increased. Thank you, thank you. And then he brought us to take prasada, prema prasada. This uh, prasada of Radha Gopinath and Nitai Goranga. So, we took this prasada. So we feel, oh, original guru, Nityananda, you kindly bless us to, to, to destroy our ego. And then you, you kindly accept us. We feel it. Then we go back. And we explain to our experience to Guru Dev, and Guru Dev will be very, very happy because uh, you know we did Madhukari, we follow his instruction, and uh, everybody is crying, and he understood our feeling. So this is our experience, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Janandaji. Thank you so much for sharing this prasad. But you share prasad also, but not only that, not only that, you brought us on this parikram because we, you gave us through your words and experience and practice, you gave us the chance to be with you not yesterday, but today. And this is the power of words. If we properly listen, they can brought us like an arrow in the middle of the spot and in the middle of the nectar. And sensitive devotee even can relish this rotis from Jayananda's out. So we need to change the consciousness and to relish. This is not philosophy, like our beloved Guru Dev is saying. No. Relishing is not philosophy. It's not advanced knowledge or whatever. Simple Vraj mood, relishing. Thank you. We embrace you so much, Janandaj. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Nanda. Thank you so much. <laughs> I also came with you, Parigram. 
Kusum Sarova, Govinda Kund, Radha Kund, Nityananda Baitak. So nice, thank you. So nice experience, Madhukar. Yes. What is our ego that we think we understood already something? That is our ego. Still is there. But we don't understand anything. There, they've wrote in Sanskrit. Can we understand that? No. They've wrote in Bengali. Can we understand that? No. Somebody translated. Can we understand that? No. We reading hundreds of comments. Could we understand something? No. Guru Dev has to explain the comments of the Acharyas, of the translations of the original books. We understand what Guru Dev want to say? No. Still we not understand. There are the fruits. But we cannot eat the fruits. But mother is coming and cutting the fruits, putting in our mouths. But we have no teeth to eat them. We spit out again. So mother take in the mouth and making small pieces and then putting in the mouth. But baby still sometimes. <laughs> Then mother takes spoon and put again. We are so fallen. We need to do Madhukari. I'm speaking to myself. So, As long as we think we already understand something, we have still a big ego. Thank you.